off the top at six, Man Overboard. New video just into the CBS4 newsroom of dramatic moments leading up to a man falling from a seventh floor Royal Caribbean cruise ship balcony. The new video shows security inside the man's room and you can hear the screams for help. An attorney for the man's family says he threatened to go overboard in an act of protest. He claims ship crew members hurled gay slurs at him. CBS 4's Ted Scowton is live in downtown Miami tonight with more on this new video. Ted? Yeah, Elliot, the video that we're seeing was shot by the uh, man who went overboard by his cell phone. Now, this video is extremely emotional. What you have here is a husband learning that his husband went overboard and then eventually plunged into the ocean. It's a moment Bernardo Alves went overboard off the oasis of the seas. Oh we hear his distraught husband Eric screaming. You're Next thing we see is harrowing cell phone video of Bernardo clinging to a lifeboat lift. The guy fell overboard. He did it fall! Oh, you pushed him! Guy. You killed him! Yeah, yeah, we have the bridge in front of him. He didn't jump! He didn't so, jump! As Bernardo is holding on, Eric tells security it's their fault he went over. BSO and Royal Caribbean say Bernardo jumped. His attorney said while he planned to hurl himself over the balcony, he did not jump. Here's the video just before he went over. Now it goes black for six seconds. The portion of the film that you cannot see that's blacked out because of the family's wishes is Bernardo saying in half Portuguese and half English, because of this, because of Royal Caribbean, I'm throwing myself. The attorney for Bernardo's husband tries to explain how he went overboard. If he didn't jump, he either fell or as a result of Eric chasing in after him, as you can see, and a Royal Caribbean security guard coming in right after him. As they were trying to rescue him, they weren't, they weren't able to, and thus the momentum of all of them getting to him at the same time, they were not able to stop him from going over. Video shows someone grabbing onto Bernardo as he hung over the water with two others nearby. Seconds later, Bernardo plunged into the water. <laughs> It's agonizing to hear the moment he went in. You guys had him right there. Why'd you let him go? Take some water. Why? No, I'm okay. You had him. Why'd you let him go? Royal Caribbean released a statement. The attorneys disprove claims that our security staff had any culpability in this tragedy are shameful and offensive, particularly when our crew members put their own lives at risk trying to save the guest after he jumped from his balcony. And the attorney went on to say that uh, Royal Caribbean should have been able to do more to prevent him from going over that balcony in the first place. And he says that they also should have done, been able to do more to save him when he was hanging onto that lifeboat. Live in downtown Miami, Ted Scouton, CBS 4 News.